Beautiful, isn't it? Over here, it's me. This fish tank has been my home for almost 300 years. You might not believe it, but it used to look like this. The story goes back thousands of years. When humans discovered that fine-grained earth, or what we know today as clay, could be mixed with water, shaped, and heated to form objects. They come in different colors and textures and have many uses. Some even become priceless treasures. There are five steps to turn soft clay into sturdy ceramics. First, a potter chooses the amount and type of clay needed. Different clay is used for different ceramics. For example, the shiny white ceramic called porcelain is often made using a whitish clay known as kaolin. Other types of clay are used for earthenware and stoneware, which differ in texture and color. Water is added to the clay to soften it, so it can be shaped. Can you guess how clay is shaped? By hand, with tools, or on a wheel? The answer is all three methods can be used. The wheel has a round tabletop that can spin, so it is good for circular objects like fish tanks. Unusual shapes might need to be shaped by hand. More than one method for one object can be used. Next comes the decorating stage. The potter uses tools to add details and decorations. But what about patterns and colors? Those can be done by painting the surface of an object. Then covering the designs with a layer of glaze or vice versa. The glaze gives the object a glassy surface and can make it waterproof. Look. Here's a potter glazing on our fish tank. The final step is to fire the clay objects in the kiln. A kiln is a large oven used to bake clay. Firing hardens the clay and the glaze on it, making it stronger and more durable. Some ceramics are fired twice, once before being glazed and once after. A kiln can be heated to over a thousand degrees Celsius and the objects are sometimes left inside for more than a week. Different firing conditions, like the temperature and the type of kilns, can change how the final ceramic looks. It's easier to make ceramics today with the help of machines and electric kilns, but it's still important to have the skills and experience of a potter. So next time you see ceramics, remember the effort needed to make them. Old ones like my home have survived the test of fire and time to share their stories today. To see more ceramics, check out the ACM website or come visit us at ACM today.